Salvete Omnes, this is I'm Amelia, also known as the Martian Geek. In the last episode, we made it into a swamp. A swamp that we can't do a whole lot in because we don't have Pegasus boots. Which makes it pretty hard to walk across that deep mud. So I have a feeling we're going to need to go back to the village. I don't think that's too far away, so I shouldn't need to cut. Uh, whoops, meant to read that sign, not smash it. Okay, good, Hyrule Town. So the Light Force is some kind of treasure that can grant any wish. The king must be looking for it so that he can ensure peace in Hyrule. Okay, he's... different. Let's see if... How much changed in this village since I was here last? Yeah, do we sell all the vendors out here and all? I'm sick of fruit and I just plain hate veggies. You poor person. What? I'm trying to talk to you, not... Thanks for coming by. I sell all kinds of... Pick the light. Hmm, what is this stuff? Red pick light. And what's this one? Yellow pick light? Oh, that's an empty bottle. And this one's not empty. But to get lucky, easier to find kinstone pieces. Mm, I better save my money for now. But the game place is still closed. And let's see. King is so angry and impatient and being horrible to the guards, apparently. Let's see if there's anything new in the bakery. Welcome. Must make delicious this Okay, nope. I don't recall there being a hotel anywhere in the village, so... It's got beta carotene, people! It's good for your eyes! Well, at least the carrots do. I don't know about the broccoli. Ah, uh, that door is still shut. How about the other side? Yeah, I still have no way of getting into that room. I'm not bothering to look for that light force. And we just have the purple thing in the shoemaker's shop to try. Okay, those people aren't open yet. Shrinky. Well, now this is new. Hey, hey, you're Link, right? You're the one who brought the sword to Master Malari. You're on a quest to help the princess, aren't you? I wish I could go on a quest with then who'd make Rem's shoes for him. Oh ho, you need Pegasus boots. Why, you're just in time. We made a pair just now while Rem was sleeping. But only Rem can put the finishing touches on them. Ah, that sleepyhead Rem is nearly impossible to wake up. If you want to wake him, you'll need to get an item from Syrup's hut. It's a little bit of a trek, but we'll mark it on your map for you. That is a bit of a trek, isn't it? Have I even been over to that part of the map yet? But I guess now we've figured out the mystery of the Pegasus boots. We get shoes from the shoemaker's shop. Who would have thought? What were the odds? But let's grow back to normal size again and go out seeking the whatever it is from Syrup's hut. Who the heck is Syrup? Okay, so I want to go to the Minish Woods. And I want to go east. Hello, Octo Rock. That was not the sword button. But it worked! Yeah, I think I would have rather had the bomb than that single rupee, but okay. And these weird duck moles. I'd like to stack up. Die and give me some hearts and... Oh, thank you. Okay, that leads to Minish Woods. Good. Hello there. I knocked you into... Oh, hey, it actually did knock him into the water. 
Okay, now the question is, is Syrup a Minish or is she a regular human? I'm assuming she's a she. And this looks like it can be blown up. I keep forgetting that no, in fact, those things do not are not blow up all with my current bombs. I'm just assuming I'm probably going to get a bomb upgrade later. What's? Th oh yeah, those things. I haven't been here in a while. Okay, that was not a good idea. Let's see. That definitely looks like something I could enter, but I don't really have a way of getting over there. Okay, can I take out these guys before I shrink? I heard a rupee drop, but oh well. Okay. Oh yeah. Speaking of things I need to do before shrinking. And let's see, was there any over here? Yes. Good thing I checked. Really wish this game had a dash button, but then again the Game Boy Advance kind of doesn't have enough buttons for much anyway. And it respawned. Never mind. So how do I get over there without drowning? Don't suppose any of the Minish are willing to make me a boat. Uh, oh, come on. That looked like I should have landed on it. Okay, so... Yes, I realize I'm at the south of Minish Woods and need to go to the north. I don't know where I'm going anymore. Anyone I can talk to who would help? Anyone... You guys. One of these places had a back exit, this one. Okay, so there's where the first dungeon was. to go through here? Okay, there should be a quick warp to at least close to the exit somewhere in here. I kind of forgot where everything was because it's been a while since I've been in here, so... Also, I keep reading that as Derpwood Shrine. Okay, I'm gonna need the sucky thing again, aren't I? Not exactly what I was going for there. Okay, I'm guessing that's my warp out of here. Hmm. Uh, no, that was not what I was supposed to do after all. Uh, let me look into that a bit. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so we're back in Minish Woods, back at the start here, and yeah, I did have to look up the way to go, which I am getting really sick of. I mean, okay, that guy popped out but up out of nowhere. Some of the occasions where I got stuck, I feel like they made sense in retrospect, whereas others, in a word, didn't. And this, needless to say, is one of the latter cases. 
No, I don't know if it's because of actual bad game design, because I'm just clueless, because I'm just not very familiar with Zelda, or because it's a blind run. Probably some combination. But the important part is, at least I have a plan now. And if you've played the game before and I'm wondering where the heck I'm going, well, this isn't exactly my plan. My plan is to go somewhere completely different. But while I was combing the overworld for the next place, trying to figure out which way to go and all that, I almost rolled into that Octorok, I discovered something in Hyrule Castle that I had not done before. So here we are in Hyrule Castle. And let's see, I believe it's over here. I don't know if I actually could have done this earlier, or if I had to wait until after clearing one or more dungeons. Okay, is this... Okay, here we go. There's a ladder there. And, of course, I have not gone down it yet. So let's see what's down here. We have a couple more pots to see if there's anything in. Rupee. And in this room we find... Who's this guy, or girl, or whoever? You have found the true master swordsman of Hyrule, Grimblade. Okay, I guess he is a guy. You look like a girl, dude. If you train with me, I will teach you skills you've never imagined. But the room is dark and I cannot see your face. We cannot train like this. Probably be even more dark on a real Game Boy Advance, or at least the original model. I have an SP, so the lighting problem isn't too bad. And we got a piece of heart. Those are always useful. So, this guy who looks like a girl is another Swordsmaster, or Swordmaster, I guess. Swordsman, whatever. And I'm guessing that we're gonna need some kind of fire weaponry, and we're gonna need to use it to light these things, which are presumably torches. We don't have anything fiery right now, so... I'm gonna have to come back to that later. You'd think at some point during that entire fire-themed dungeon we would have gotten something fiery, but... Nope. Slash all the bushes. Yeah, well, with the, all this extra walking, at least I'm getting some extra rupees. Oh yeah, that's another thing. All the extra walking. So much backtracking. I have to backtrack all the way to where I'm actually supposed to go. But at least the backtracking isn't quite as bad as it was in Super Metroid. So, where is the arbitrary location that our next event flag is placed? Oh well. It is, in fact, Lon Lon Ranch. Which I believe I went to once briefly in a previous episode. Now, if you can explain to me what exactly a ranch has to do with magical shoes or the syrup person, I'd love to know. Because I don't know. Now, let's see if I can even remember how to get to the ranch. Let's check the map. Okay, up one room. Okay, I'll admit if I checked every single room on the overworld, I might have been able to find it. But still, I mean... How was I supposed to figure that out? I got a kinstone piece. Oh yeah, and that's another thing. Is it just me? Am I just missing something? Or have I not had any occasion to actually use the kinstone pieces since the mechanic was introduced? I haven't seen any NPCs who had that certain look in their eye. So I need to talk to these people. What a pain. I was thinking of going into town to sell Lon Lon milk. I lost my key and I can't get inside. And the spare key's inside the house. And you just pushed me back, sir. What was that for? Well, the spare key's inside the house. And there is a, sh a small link or a minish sized hole there. So I think you can see where this is going. You can grow. You can smash all their pottery. Don't worry, it respawns. There's the Lon Lon Ranch key, and now we can open the ranch door. Oddly, we actually can't open this door with the key, but... Or that door, I guess. Yeah, we have to shrink and go back out. Alright, so we got your key. Oh, our one and only spare key! I don't know how you got this, but I can't thank you enough! Tell me your name, Sonny. Link? That's a great name. If you ever need to go to Lake Hylia, feel free to cut through our house. Thank you very much, Link. Come visit us again. 
Alright, so now we have a way to Lake Hylia. And I'm guessing these are the Lon Lons. Grr. They look like ordinary cows to me, but okay. I guess maybe if Kukos are... Whoa! Bad bug. Maybe if Kukos are chickens, Lon Lons are cows. Does Fountain do anything? Okay, no. So, do I want to go up? I can't go up, so... Have I been in this cave yet? Another cloning device. And here we find 50 rupees! You must be very happy. Oh, I am. Those are always useful. Now that stump looks sig- oh, another spider. This stump looks significant, but I'm not sure if what I'm supposed to do with it. Bomb it, maybe? I don't know. Okay, well, there's gotta be a reason this area here is here. They wouldn't just make you lead, make it lead to nothing, would they? Yeah, they might. Also, that's shiny. But I have no way of getting up there, so that will have to wait. For now, let's go east and... Okay, Lake Hylia, and there's Syrup the Witch's Hut, so she's a witch, huh? Let's see what's up here first. A couple more monsters, and... Oh, it's time for the flipping stick again! We are flipping right. Oh, well, that's how you get to those tornadoes, I guess. What's over here? The Elf Falls, Minish Woods, Lake Hylia. Okay, I think I've already been up here. Okay, yeah, I've been up here. Uh oh, am I gonna have to go back around? Okay, no. Now, I see a small passage there. See what's over here. Another kinstone piece, huh? Okay, I saw a heart container down there, or a piece of heart. How exactly do you get down there? I definitely didn't see any other way of getting in that cave. Well, that just adds more fuel to my theory that sooner or later we're gonna get some sort of swimming device. In other Zelda games, wasn't there, like, a pair of flippers or something you could get that would let you swim? Eh, maybe that's what we'll be getting at Lake Hylia. Should I go there, or should I go to the witch first? I have a feeling I might want to save those whirlwinds for an another episode, but I'm not sure. Okay, no, let's go ahead and do them now. So I want to flip up here. And I want to make like Mario and Luigi. And I have no idea where I'm going. Hmm. Is there even another whirlwind close enough to get to? Yeah, I think I might come back to that. Let's see if there's anything awaiting at Lake Hylia. North or south? Let's try down here. Okay. I can't flip over that rock, can I? I mean, flip over it, not flip over it. No, I cannot, so... Only one way. This is not what I was expecting Lake Hylia to look like, I have to say. Anything under these? And another pool with the ladder leading into it. Anyone in here? Dog? Ruff, ruff. And what exactly is the purpose of... Oh... Actually, have I done that before? I can't remember. Okay, that definitely looks like I should be able to go into it. 
Okay, well, wait a minute. If there's a... If there's one of these in here, then... There has to be some reason for it. But I'll be darned if I know what it is, apparently. Well... So much for that. Another one of those caves that looked like it should be explodable, but isn't. And another ladder leading in down into the water, and we cannot do much else here. So let's go talk to Syrup the Witch, I guess. And destroy some more bushes and get another kinstone piece. Wait a minute. Okay. I don't really have any way of going down, though. Unless... Wait, actually, can I use the whirlwinds? Or am I supposed to swim across? I don't think I can get from this whirlwind to that one quickly enough, so... Ooh, blue rupee. Yeah, yeah, definitely not. So, maybe I am supposed to go to Lake Hylia? Because I certainly don't see any other way of getting across there. Okay. More shells that I don't know what to do with. Okay, there's got to be a reason for that shrinky pot. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to go under the bed? I don't know. Oh, my master Stockwell has been coming home far, to, far too late to play with me. I'm so lonely. So you can talk to the dog while you're minish-sized. Now that's interesting. Hey doggy, if I play with you, will you give me some swimwear? No? Hmm. If this is another arbitrary event flag thing... Can I flip this? No, I cannot. Hmm, I might have to check around a bit more and... Maybe look stuff up again. I will see you guys in a bit.